My name's Christian Strutt. I work for the Department of Archaeology at the University of Southampton. I'm generally working on and supervising geophysical surveys at Portus um, and also helping out a little bit on the supervision of the excavation. Um, my interests really lie in the broader landscape of the, of the Tiber Delta uh, around Portus. Um, what we're going to do is tell you a little bit about the excavation techniques we're using um, on site here at the Imperial Palace. So the way in which we're excavating is really to, to look at the site stratigraphically. Every component within the site uh, gets its own number and an index and the numbers increment as you add different contexts to the index. And then we try to excavate from the material that's been dumped most recently to that that is most ancient. Okay, so we're on the first floor of the Imperial Palace here in one of the, one of the rooms and Peter is uh, working in this corner of the room. When we come to excavate, the first thing we'll approach is topsoil and very recent modern deposits on the surface of the site. And to excavate those, we really need to use something that's a bit more robust than a trowel. So we'll be using a, a pick like this and then shoveling the material like so. Some of the finds that we'll get from those levels, um, we need to keep things such as brick stamps um, and other things, but the deposits are modern. They're probably quite disturbed. Um, so there's less of a, an interest in the finds from the surface than when we get down onto the underlying deposits. When we start getting down onto other features and other contexts, we tend to use a trowel a little bit like this and to excavate in a more refined fashion. So Peter's troweling back at the moment on this deposit that we've got here. Any finds that he sees as he's troweling back, such as a mosaic tessera or coins or uh, other brick stamps, pieces of pottery, etc., he'll actually keep. He will label those associated with the number of the context that he's excavating and they'll be then sent on to, to be processed as finds. The kind of things that we're excavating on the site will include deposits such as this one that Peter's working on and features that have been cut into material such as this feature here. And this is a cut that's later than the material that Peter's working on and this originally was filled with a later deposit of material that has its own context number. In addition to that, Components such as masonry and walls will have their own context numbers. So you can see here, this number here, 11,277, relates to this wall here. And this number here, 11,223, relates to this wall here. So every component on the excavation has its own number. Well, I hope that's made some of the um, excavation process and the methods that we use a little bit clearer. Um, and they can go on and find out a little bit more about what's going on elsewhere at Portis.